Here we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? John Norsey! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our next poet comes fresh from Toledo. And here we are, the Miami River or something like that. Somewhere on the northeast shore of Ohio. We don't know where, we don't know why, we don't know where, we don't know why, we don't know where, we don't know why, we don't know where, we don't know why. Is he stole the bar? John, is he stole the bar? Alright. He was born in a boxcar, raised in a thimble, on the uh, the drippings from a piece of roast beef that came off of the top of my dishwasher. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite poets, who I wish I had his phone number on my cellular phone somewhere because I'm in Toledo a lot, as you know, but I've never called him. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the starlings of John Dorsey. Uh, I too would like to uh, thank uh, Steve and Nick and Danny and Luna, but particularly Steve because I think he's at home throwing up. <laughs> Thirty 
one. A year younger than I am now. That was the summer the training wheels were supposed to come off my first bicycle. I watched my dad lock his Harley in my, in my grandmother's shed, left to rust away to nothing but memory and bone. He locked my bike up there too, supposedly for safekeeping. But I never saw it again after that. I watched him go in Superman and come out human. A pimple-faced teenager who would once sign on the dotted line for jungle warfare. Without giving it a second thought, I watched as he tried to hold back tears, as he sent me to go pick dead flowers out of the yard. Fourth of July had come early that year, when the space shuttle Challenger exploded into a million little pieces of brilliant light, like a Chernobyl sunset. That was the summer riding a bicycle stopped being a symbol of independence. I still take the bus and carry my father's army issued duffel everywhere I go. I remember my dad's first car was a 1963 Ford Galaxy that he bought for 15 bucks with a childhood friend. And how he smiled like a kid thinking about a joyride when he talked about the dents in the rust like they were the first and last stars he ever saw in the sky. Everything is bound to get fucked up. Right. <laughs> 